So what I want to show you here in this video is how to embed a Yammer feed directly into SharePoint Online in Office 365. So this is generally a better way to uh, make enablement around Yammer because you can integrate it into directly into SharePoint. So typically the way that you most likely access or users access Yammer is that they go up to their app launcher up here, they select Yammer and then they are taken into their Yammer conversation. But what we want to do is we actually want to embed this directly into a SharePoint site here called Project X so that the interactions can happen directly in SharePoint rather than having to necessarily happen outside here in Yammer. Now one of the limitations is, is I can only embed a Yammer uh, group into my Office 365 uh, SharePoint Online site. So what that means is, is you have a home network which is uh, the root of or the first site or the top level of your Yammer. And what I've gone in here is basically created a group called Learning Office 365. Now again the way you create a group is you can just select the option here to create a group. I've created an internal group and what I'm going to do now is uh, embed that. So remember that the embedding is only available once you create um, your Yammer groups in your network. So if we scroll down here on the right hand side you'll see that we have an option here called embed this feed into your site. So what I'm going to do is select that and that's going to basically give me uh, a some script that I need to then place into my SharePoint site. So I'll copy that with Control C then I'll pop across to my um, SharePoint Online site. I obviously need to be an administrator so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the option to edit the page so this puts it into edit mode. Now I'm not going to use the standard site feed so I'm going to delete that. Happy to remove that. Now what I'm going to do in exactly the same area here is I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to go into web part and then what I'm going to do is insert a web part that will allow me to uh, insert that code. Now the item is you'll find it under the category of media and content and you need to select script editor and simply add that to the location where your cursor was selected. So in here now we see that we have the option here for um, a script editor and again it's just like any other uh, web part so if we go in here and we put in edit what you'll see over here on the right hand side is the normal uh, things that we see with a web part but you'll notice now I have this option here called edit snippet so if I select that and now if I paste in the code that I got from Yammer I will get a preview of that Yammer feed so I can ensure generally that is correct but I'm pretty sure that's going to be good so I'll just insert that and now that I've done that I will save the page which will then update that for me and then what I should see when the page uh, finishes loading is now you'll see that I have my Yammer group conversation directly embedded into my site. So for example if I go in here and put in some text I have just embedded this into SharePoint. Okay so let's just remove that message and let's post that. Okay so you'll see that now appears here. If I pop back to my Yammer, close that out, you'll see that, that I had the same uh, Yammer conversation happening here in my Yammer feed, so this is the one I just created and if I go over and look again at my website, my SharePoint Online, you'll see that that conversation now has ended up inside Yammer. So the good thing is, is there's one source of information, it is inside Yammer, but now I can embed that conversation, allow interaction directly through my SharePoint Online. So if you have a project or you have uh, an area of conversation that you are using with Yammer, you can embed that directly into anywhere in SharePoint Online. So again, quick and easy, the way that we do it is basically make sure that we have an Office 365 uh, Yammer group created. Again, so if I pop back and just have a look at my uh, home network, you'll see that I don't have that embed option, but when I do go to a group that I have created in my Yammer network, you'll see that I have the embed option. That gives me a code which I then go into my web page, edit my web page, and then use the script editor to, uh, the content script editor to go in and basically paste that uh, information into that web part 
and then save it and then I will get this embedded um, version of Yammer. So again, a really quick and simple way to make sure that your Yammer feeds are surfaced directly inside SharePoint Online so users can converse whether in SharePoint or in Yammer and the information is all placed in one simple location.